So first match uh, done and dusted in very quick time there. Uh, we've now got the women's singles here, the final day of the 2023 Guangzhou Korea Masters. Kim Gutton, the top seed from Korea up against uh, Tomoka Miyazaki from Japan. Here is the uh, path to the finals. There was a potential perhaps for an all Japan final, but Kim Gaon uh, disposed of Asuka Takahashi very comfortably. And uh, you would think, in theory, that uh, she'd feel that she should be doing something similar here with Tomoka Miyazaki. So in terms of women's singles and the uh, race to the finals, look at how uh, China have dominated that top eight. Uh, that really does give a lot of hope uh, to Bei Wenzang, who won recently again, and Gregoria Mariska Tunjung as well. Maybe a few others as well below that top ten. But uh, yeah, real opportunities a little further down the table. Herbie Jia Wang Ziyi also want to push themselves to get above Chen Yufei and Han Yue. Kim Gaon, the picture of concentration, and I think, Jeff, it's fair to say, actually, while she's the overwhelming favourite here, and I, I don't think there's any, there's nothing for us to, to temper our expectations, she is the big, big favourite. The pressure's all on her, not at all on this young lady. Yeah, playing against an up-and-coming 17-year-old player, with, you've got the higher seed, You've got a lot more experience, you've got the home crowd. There's definitely some pressure here that's going to be felt. I think the key is going to be how well she can start. If she can start well, get the crowd up and going, then she'll continue that. But if it's a bit of a shaky start, it could be tricky. Oh, no surprise that this is the first meeting Trump between Trump. these two. Black or red? Red, you get black. Red, serve, receive, or side. This side, serve, receive, receive. So Miyazaki winning the toss there and deciding to choose the, the side that she's most comfortable on. I mean, what's going through her mind as a 17-year-old? It's, it's, it's got to be intimidating, right? I mean, that would only be fair to say that she's nervous. She's got to be nervous. I think there's definitely going to be some nerves. 25-year-old Kim Gaon, 172 centimeters tall. From Ulsan, she's currently 19th in the world. Her highest ranking is uh, 15th, achieved in uh, March of 2020. She has been uh, pretty flawless so far. This will be a third Japanese opponent in a row. Former uh, World Junior Championships bronze medalist in 2016, one of her crowning achievements prior to this. And she's won two titles on the World Tour, 2018 Hyderabad Open, 2019 Luxury China Master. So it's been a long, long time. She was runners up at the Australian Open earlier this year. Tomoka Miyazaki is only 17 years of age. Uh, that is a very impressive achievement for the teenager. 165 centimeters tall. Now she's dropped games in the last three, but she has disposed of a seed at Natsuki Nidaira. Um, but the pressure's off her, really, because any to have even got here was already pretty impressive yeah definitely to see someone promoted from qualifying to make the finals is always really impressive and I think she can just come out here and play her heart out and look she's done really well of course she'll be wanting to win that's that's how Ready great athletes play. are built they've got a winning instinct and even if they are underdog it's not going to make them any less 
determined. Christian Hedlund from Denmark is our umpire. And uh, it'll be Charles Wang of Chinese Taipei as his service judge. Uh, she really has not registered many matches on the World Tour, just 11, and you're already into a 300 final. That is impressive. She got to the final, by the way, of the Yuzu Indonesia Masters in October and then won that. And the other Indonesia Masters, there were two of them, there was one in September, she also got to the final. So actually, if you think about it, three finals out of three, not bad. Those are 100s. It's a good start to your career, isn't it? Definitely. I think it's something that Ladies and she's going to build on, and we're going to see on a my lot right, of her in the years Chomoka to come. Chomoka Miyazaki, Japan. And on my left, Kim Ga Young, Korea. Not showing Chomoka anything Miyazaki here, Kim Ga Young. Fully focused on the task Blank. at hand. It's, it's a nice start. One, it's quite a distinctive love. way to, to, to serve, isn't it? How she does it, holding up the shuttle like that. She does hold the shuttle up quite high, but she's not afraid. Look at her. She's there to do her job, just like Kim Goen is. When, when, we, when we watched her yesterday against Wardoyo, I mean, Wardoyo had One, the opportunities, didn't four. she, to win this? And we thought, actually, she might have turned the corner, Wardoyo after Miyazaki won that first game. Service over. And I think that's a tribute to the fighting spirit of Two. the youngster. And if One. you can see a 17-year-old with that much fighting spirit, you know that they're mentally strong and they're going to go for it every time. I guess when you're the underdog and you're younger player, it's quite easy to sometimes say, hey, I've done well enough. Yeah. It's okay if I don't do that well, but I don't see that so it's over. from Miyazaki at all. What about Two. that theory oh. where if the pressure's not quite on you, uh, you could play with a bit more freedom? Do you, do you subscribe to that? I think definitely you can play with a lot more freedom, but there's a fine line between <laughs> a lot of freedom and and not pushing yourself as well. Oh, that's gone wide. Now we saw so this, didn't we, from three, Kim Gael early two. on yesterday in her semi final against Asuka Takahashi, where she was making a number of unforced errors. Yeah, I think sometimes she's a bit of a slow starter, Kim Gael. Yeah, it took us some time to get going, didn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's good. But that is going to get Kim Gaeyong challenged. challenged. Called in. Good feel. What did you say that? I saw it as I saw it as out. Well, I thought it might be out. Yeah. I was surprised when the line judge called that one in. And the scream of celebration came pretty quickly without hesitation from Kim Goen. So, yeah. Wow. Correction. Well out, isn't it? Out. Service over. Free. Do, do they give glares to the uh, service judges sometimes? Play. Sometimes a little bit just to. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Yeah, so for such a, a short career, she really has already started to uh, impress Miyazaki. And then you uh, look at Kim Ga Eun. Service over. Four. 
Oh. Who has been to a semi final before in this tournament, 2016. So she's already gone better than that here. She's never won a tournament here on the World Tour. So this would be a special moment for her if she can. Is that just keeping pace with her right now? Four. She is. Really good net play here, net touch, great control. start to what we saw yesterday for Kim Gatton. Yeah, she's really taking some time to find her paces here because I do think that once she does, it's going to be quite hard for Miyazaki to finish off the rally. But of course, unforced errors is a different story. Oh. There's another one. It's littered, I, get, I think, what, Seven, so four, four or five of those points so far? Have come from... Kim Gowen's errors. Service hey. over. Yeah, Five, this, uh, seven. It was interesting yesterday just watching Kim Gowen. Sort of take her time and, and buy the time. 21 16 in the first game against Takahashi, and then she blew her away in the second. Mm. 21 7. But she was down early on in that first yeah. set, just like she is now. But coming back. 6 7. Play I want to see oh. from Kim Gowen taking that step in and and being the bully on the court, pushing her younger and smaller opponent around. Like you, that's the way she needs to play. She's got to be ruthless, right? Well, she's got to be ruthless. She's just got to she's got to be the boss of the court here. Eight, seven. Yeah, I mean. You look at this, and actually, Takahashi was leading all the way up to just after the interval. And at one point, it was 6-1 to, Miyazaki, to uh, Nine, Takahashi. Seven. And slowly, she really took to, to chip away at that and finally got into a groove after the interval. So she's done that a little bit earlier today, 9-7 up. Yeah. Service over. Eight, nine. And there another unforced error, but I think the right idea, they're pushing Miyazaka into the deep corners. That, that's the kind of unforced error you're, you're fine with because there's an attempt to try and push something, right? Yeah, there's no. it's not just passive play, right. and she's not just reacting. She's actually going to something. Four. So that's really well taken yeah. there. Nine. Stepping in nice. Oh, like it. As for Miyazaki's point of view, uh, Jeff, she's, I think we've, we said this yesterday, when you're that lower ranked player, you're playing, the odds are against you. You just, you know, you've got to step up, be aggressive, take it to them. Because you really, as we said earlier, you've got nothing to lose. You might as well go for it rather than just wait for things to happen. Over. Yeah, and that's the, Ten, I guess, the nine. worst thing that can happen to any player is to walk off the court and think, hey, I just gave it to them, or I didn't yeah. really give it everything I had. Of course, of course, it's difficult to say that at all times, but it's you just want to have that feeling you've left it all out there, right? even if you don't get away with the victory. Good follow again. Yeah, she's been good at those. 
Service over. <laughs> you can learn sometimes the body oh. language is uh, it's quite telling. Kind of slump her shoulders. I think this is where Kim Goen can get into a little bit of a, a passive streak. When she mm. makes a few unforced errors, then her, her body doesn't move as quickly. She's not uh, reaching for the shuttle. She's letting it come to her. Just like that return of Smash just before, she's kind of let that come to her, given Miyazaki more time to push forward and hit the attacking winner. So at the interval here, interval. game one, Kim Goen has a slender lead. She's a point ahead of Tomoka Miyazaki. during that interval. I'm going to let him stew over the question. 12, and then, I'll, uh, and then we'll bring it up later. Kim Gowen looking to increase the lead. It's straight so out. It's over. Immediately 11, just 12. turns around, looks at the coaches. That is the right idea, though. Service I think. over. So, Kim Gowen doing really 13. well in that rally, as she usually does, to defend, defend, and, and get back the really difficult shots. But then she's taking this early to push Miyazaki into the deep backhand corner. Unfortunately, just out the back. She's not afraid to play her shots, Miyazaki. Oh. She's drawn level here. Change. Now, it was around this point that Kim got just sort of came alive. She was pecked back once more at 14-all, uh, and then 15-all, and then never looked back, but... Oh. Set it over. 14 Yeah, that's 13. really going to frustrate Miyazaki, because she's done well to claw her way back into this. Disappointed with that service error for sure. We've got a backhand serve now by Kim Go, and maybe she's a bit concerned about that rear court hitting it out. She has had some serves to go out as well. Hey! Now we haven't seen too many unforced errors from Miyazaki. 13. A couple creeping in now. Yeah.
but I still think it's less so far than against Wadoyo yesterday. There's a right. few more, yes. I think, against Wadoyo. Again, that's so it's one over. That she just seems to snatch at those. 14, 15. Yeah, she just shook her head. Long again. Lancash wiped the court. 15 all. Miyazaki will be pretty pleased with this so far. Yeah, hung in there that rally, but I think what's really interesting is the dynamic between the players and the coaches on the court. You mm. see Miyazaki looking back at her coach from time to time. But you see Kim Ga un just every looking point. for that reassurance yeah. every single point. So that's also an indication to me, look, some players need a bit more input from their coaches and they feel more comfortable to talk to their coaches a little bit more. But usually when you're feeling comfortable, you probably don't need to turn back to your coaches oh. quite as much. But every single point, so I, I think she's really feeling that pressure. She's just really wanting that extra reassurance behind her. Over. Now, I'm just going to bring up the question 16, I asked Jeff earlier during 15. the interval. Is, does it matter to Kim Gaon, or should it matter to Kim Gaon, if she wins this, how she wins this, or the fact that she's just got a title under her belt against a player, by all accounts, she should be winning very, very comfortably against? Hey! Oh, that is called Kim in. Kim Gaon challenging called in. And I think that was definitely in. She, I, I think, think she, kind of, she, no she held her head was. afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I think that was it as well. But while we wait for this challenge, challenge to load, I think the answer to your question is two, two things. Okay. First of all, I don't think it matters because on paper you, you've got the victory, you've got the points, exactly. etc. As we thought, that's in. But I think it's what's important One is the remaining. Service over. what you get 16. out of the victory oh. psychologically. Right. Play. If you, of course, it's great to win, but if you can win in a in a style and in a way that you're really happy with your performance overall, yeah. I think it's going to be much better for your confidence moving into another tournament. This is going well for Miyazaki. I mean, the other part of this 17, is, if Miyazaki 17. takes the first, that's a bit of a blow to the confidence, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. For Kim ga -un. And as we know, sport is as much a mental game as it is a yeah. physical game. And things like that do stick around. But again, in saying that, a title is a title, points are points, and that's right. at the end of the day what matters in terms of your of ranking, course. qualification into the Olympic Games, bigger games such as that. Let's not forget. 17. There was 16. a time when there was a 16, 17 year old Ansa Young who was starting to take wins off much bigger names. Mm -hmm. Over. From Kim. 17 all. Good. Yeah. Wipe the court. Good cross block there. Good speed. Can you around the head shot? Thank you. Kim.
play. Good aggression. Yeah, really good aggression there 18, from Tim Gowan. 17. I think that's one of the first rallies where she, we've really seen her go for the attack and move forward there. And it's really important for her to do. Leading by a slender point here, Kim Gowan. Nice attacking play again there. Is 19, she coming good possibly in this game? A couple of consecutive points. So this is what we can see her play when she is active and she is going for it. She's not just passive, not waiting just for the errors of the opponent. Yeah. You can see how she can actually power Miyazaki off the court if she plays in this way. Oh. And then there's that. So and then, over yeah, there's there's 18, two spectrums, 19. unfortunately. So I guess when you talk about any player, you talk about their highest level and their lowest level. And the idea is that you want to close that gap as much as you possibly can. better by Kim Gowen. But oh. then that the error. Oh. Then the error there. So really good there. She was taking the oh. net early, pushing Miyazaki back. And yeah. Pushing her again there. <laughs> She's taking it so low and so late here. Really good position there, but yeah, just unfortunately not able to keep that in. 19 all. This is on 10 to hooks now. Miyazaki might be sensing. Something's on here for her. Oh, nicely done, Miyazaki has point. got game point. 19. Back to four. Great deceptive push into that rear court, forehand rear court corner to set up that shot there. Yeah, change. Wow, this could be Kim. a real hammer blow. Miyazaki can take this point. Play. Taken the first, first game, game. that's a stunning start Miyazaki, to this match. 21, 19. And the 17 year old has beaten Kim Gowan in game one, 21 19. Kim Gowan was in the lead for much of that game, but then it started to falter for her towards a business end. It was almost like that those unforced errors were the turning point. A couple of unforced errors, and then she loses the confidence. Plays a bit more passively, and then now Miyazaki has the chance to attack and come forward. So it's all a, it's all a chain reaction. It's not an individual point by point thing. It, each point it has an effect on the other one. 21-19, Tomoka Miyazaki has won game one against Kim Gaten in the women's singles final.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Second game, love all, play. Well, she's starting the second game, but she kind of started the first. Kim got in. Not a great start with the unforced error for sure. So it's over. We, we talked about her being One. a bit of a confidence oh. player, didn't we? Uh, Kim Gutton, she, she will have been shaken by that first game loss, right? I think so, yes. I think everyone here, including us, expected her to come out and kind of overpower. Yeah. And kind of dominate there. Great shot there, though. Two, one. Great reverse drop shot there. Very well disguised. So it's over. Two, all. to improve on things in this second game. Hey. Nice to see that attacking Four, formation two. again. Three, four. Yeah, good shot right into the body, yeah. close to the body. So Kip, just in front here. She will take that. From a coaching perspective, uh, Jeff, you've obviously been a coach before. And how would you talk to Kim Gao in, in the end of at the end of that first game? Six, so three. Just draw a line under it. Let's forget it. It's done. Is it as simple as that? I think you can say that, but whether they take it on board is a different question. I think that you have to adapt your coaching style to how the player responds. Right. Nice defense there from Miyazaki. going to be challenged Kim by Kim. Challenging called in. So in the situation with Kim ga I would say that you'd probably need to be more of a reassuring coach. Reassure her of her, of her ability. Yeah. Reassure her that you're behind the court. You've got her back. And she needs to execute on a game plan. Trust. Trust the game plan. There are certain players out there that would Want it that would benefit from it being a lot harsher, a little bit more uh, direct. Right. I don't think 
Kim go in just based on the facial expressions and how she's responding. Oh, Whoa. thinnest, thinnest of margins. Challenge unsuccessful. But it is indeed in. One challenge for oh, me. Saki. What Service a over. call by the line judge. Four, wow. six. That was worth a shot from Kim Gowen, obviously. But she has got that wrong, ultimately. Play. Five, six. Snatch, snatching at that, and the uh, errors are piling up again. And another unforced error just off the return six, of serve there. Four. There's kind of this youthful energy about Miyazaki. She kind of flops at it and goes, ah, OK, well, she spins around and then she, she gets on with it, I guess. Eight, six. Nice shot there by Kim go -un. So not quite high enough or deep enough on the cross-court push by Miyazaki. Great shot. Oh, what a shot that is, so Miyazaki. Seven, eight. Great change, just in the point before we saw her push cross-court there, but she's changed it up. Cross-court net, definitely not what Kim ga Un was expecting. So Kim ga has been to five previous Eight, World Tour Finals. Four. She's lost her last two. Wang Ziyi, she lost two at the US Open. This is 2019, remember. And she was actually higher ranked than Wang Ziyi at the time. I know that you have to Nine, cast your mind back a little Eight. bit. Wang Ziyi is 121st in the world, if you can play. Play. quite uh, grasp that fact. Kim ga was 33rd. Then she lost to Bei Wen Tang in uh, Australian Open a few months ago. Where well, she was actually lower ranked Ten. than uh, Eight. Tang. Lost that one in three. No, no. This is incredible. So many unforced errors just left that one that landed well in. And now she's trying to get off the court here, just trying to say that her strapping, I think, isn't quite sitting properly, so she can have a break. But this is. Um, what do you What are you thinking here? Yeah. Do we feel there's a bit of gamesmanship going on? I think definitely in this situation. I think that if she won the last four points, she wouldn't be doing this. Right. It's just a one man's opinion, though, of course. <laughs> but I think that's also where we see the experience. She just needs to get off court. She needs to reset here. But it's 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 kind of like a. Um, I feel like this match is in her hands. Miyazaki's doing well. She's doing yeah. well to... Punching above her weight right now. Yeah. But I feel like she's doing what she needs to do in terms of keeping the shuttle in, attacking where she can, and just being there to put the pressure on. But I feel like this match is very much in Kim ga Un's control. It's either she loses it by making all these unforced errors, which is yeah. what's happened in the last few points, yeah. or she takes it on and the game is hers. Easy for me to sit here and say that, of course. Um, but I do think that it's kind of weighing on Kim ga Un as to what the result of this match is going to be. Well, Miyazaki is in absolutely no rush to get back onto the court either. Ten, eight. Couple of points in a row. Now, let's Play. see how she does after that short interval. Eight. 
11 8. So three Interval. on the trot for Miyazaki. Ah, excuse me, five on the trot now. And at the interval, she's 11-8 up, Miyazaki, having already taken the first game. Court one, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Eleven H play. So that's five in a row for Miyazaki and Kim Kaan is in some trouble here, but she's finally pulled Nine. one back. Eleven. That two, Ten. better from her. 11. Now she's not had more than two consecutive points so far in this second game. Better from Kim Garten. 11 all. Definitely a bit more positive energy now after winning the last few points. First time in the second game that she has taken three in a row. <clears throat> so over. Well, how about that? 12. To break her run of points. She I think that was a really good choice there by Miyazaki yeah. because she can feel Kim Gowen trying to add speed to a little bit of deception. Keep her, stop her in her tracks a little bit there. Yeah. That is superb, and again, it looks like it was one of those sliding. Kim as far as Kim Gaon is concerned, is sliding Indy. out. If she gets this wrong, of course, she's out of challenges. Pretty sure this one's in as well. Yeah, I agree. Well in. Challenge unsuccessful. No challenge remaining. 13. 11. Now, how much does it play into play. a player's mind, really? Or you've got no challenges left. Probably not that much, right? Depends if the line judges are on your side or not, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think it... Hold on. Tomoka Miyazaki challenging called Miyazaki's out. Miyazaki's called this one. Oh, Miyazaki's challenge this one. Yeah. That looked out. Yeah. Right there. Type it out, I think. I think not having challenges... Well, I guess it'll only matter it, when you want to challenge yeah, something. Only, <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't think it plays into the minds of, oh, oh I have no more challenges. Like, challenge. It's more if it happens that you need a challenge. challenge. You'd be annoyed with yourself, right? Yeah. Service so over. 12, 13. But Play. this being the second game, one that she needs to win. I never know if that could come in handy. Miyazaki's still in front. Playing a fine line here. Nice punch clear into that corner there. Perfect depth, perfect height.
Service over. 14. Floats 13. Wide. Miyazaki maintains, gets the lead again. Well taken. Oh, she's doing well. 15, really well taken. 13. It's actually so impressive for such Change. a young player. Mm. There was a shot there in the middle of the rally where she had an opportunity to kill it at the net, and she didn't, and the rally resumed. And she didn't get too impatient. She went for her shots again and then was able to find that opportunity to, to make the kill. <laughs> Well, I thought this was interesting. Uh, dating back to April of last year, Kim Gard has played 10 players ranked 50 or below. Okay, today Miyazaki is 75, right? And all that while, Kim Gard has been in the top 20. Mm -hmm. She's lost five out of 10. So it's over. That's a pretty high percentage. 14, That's a very high percentage. 16. That's a very high percentage for a top 20 player losing to, you said, 50 to 100. But players uh, just below 50. Below 50. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, one of them was ranked 103rd. She lost to Wang Yuc of Chinese Taipei at the Taipei Open in the opening round just a couple of months ago. 15, 16. So there is this, we, we kind of talked about that before with Kim Ga Your foot. She might feel, just feel the pressure of being the, I guess, the expected one to win. Right. right? And, um, well, that's got to be in there somewhere, right? The home, at home as well? At home as well. But she has managed to claw back a couple of points here. She was down 13 16. For Kim Gatton. And that's three in a row. Absolutely crucial for her. Smart position of that smash. Not going for too much. Going for the body shot. Wide open court. Not going for the lines. Well to get oh, there, Miyazaki. There. That is short, though. And it gets put away yeah, well. That's good. And she Six, takes the lead 17, back here. 16. Kim Gatton. What a match this is turning out to be. Great net shot there. Didn't try to do too much. Picked a spot well. No. See, this is a crucial moment, juncture in this uh, match. Oh, well, that's well out. 18, Uzaki. 16. Just get the feeling if it goes to three, then in theory, at least the, the experience of Kim Gatton comes to the four. I think that confidence of winning this set, I think that if it does go to three, then she'll be really the favorite here. Good shot, oh, but, but it's, it's out. out. She's won six 19, points in a row. 16. Kim Gatton. She's put herself back in pole position now for game two. The idea was good. Important here for Miyazaki. Oh. oh. Very nicely done. Place nicely. Service over. 17, 19. Change, change. So 
making Kim Ga Un move the furthest distance on the court. That cross court tight drop shot. And they push straight into the opposite corner. Key point right here. Doesn't make it, Miyazaki. 20 game point, 17. Three game points for Kim Gatton. What a clutch defensive shot here, full stretch. Managed to drag it slightly cross so that Miyazaki had to change direction in her footwork a little bit and drew the error. Using all her experience, she was 13-16 down. She's won eight of the last nine points. And she's taken the second game. 21-17. And we are going to go into a third here. Who would have thought that before this match started? Great long defense there. <laughs> Miyazaki was on her way into the net. It's 19-21, Kim Gutton has made it one all. Jeff, nothing really changes here for Miyazaki, right? She's Final game. already done so well Level. to even go to three anyway. She's Play. shown that she can really push Kim ga -un. The pressure is still on Kim. She can just continue doing what she's doing. I think so. Mine is a few of the unforced errors. But... Tumaga yeah. Miyazaki challenging, called in. How did you see that one? Marginal, but I think it was out as well. Oh, wait. Oh, ho, 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 yeah, yes. Just out. Wow. Correction, out. Service over, one, love. She has started Play. each of her three games, Kim Gutton, with an unforced error. Two, love. But as we said, Change. now she's got the wind in her sails. She's got a game under her belt, Kim Gutton. We felt that perhaps the experience now would count, would tell. Turn it over. One. And she gets the first point on the board on this third game. Close the net well here, expecting that net back from Miyazaki, but the reaction of Miyazaki. Yeah. 
to all. So winning the last two net exchanges here. Great net quality. like to see more from Kingo and which is using her strength to really push the youngster around the court. to see and so young in the crowd by the way not playing in this tournament she is from Guangzhou this is a hometown so she's uh, graced us with this occasion nice to have her here She played in this tournament uh, last year. It's so young. Set it over. Lightage. Practical. Four. Five. Uh, semi-finals helping Jiao once again last year but she won the uh, career open that was in Suncheon not too far from here Certainly different for you. There we go. Anse Young, we mentioned her earlier. There she is. Signing uh, a few things. I'm sure they would have loved to have had her here, but she has played a lot of badminton, hasn't she? She'll be back next week. Though. Correct. Seven, four. Maybe there'll be a bit of inspiration for Kim ga -un. Playing in front of Ansi Young. Yeah. about as big a lead as she has had in a while. Far from winning that last game, 21-17, she never really mid-game, sort of, I think you, you mentioned earlier, being clinical, being a bit ruthless, mm. pressing home the advantage. And then sustaining it without making yeah. uh, three or four unforced errors in a row, which is what we kept seeing. Nine. Yeah, cool. and I think now maybe we're starting to see more of what people were expecting. Yeah, and I think as as we said before, it, I think the winner or loss is on the bracket, and you see with the less unforced errors, and now kind of using her strength to to push Miyazaki around the court. 
We are starting to see that. But that was a great disguise drop shot there. Nine. Change. By Miyazaki. But let's see now if Kim Go Un can switch on again. Yeah, and so not let Miyazaki come back. Because 11-5, for example, at the mid-game interval yeah. is completely different to an 11-7 or 11-8 even. Challenging at the net again there. Six. Oh, no. for a bit too much there. Yeah. Like I would like to. Yes, the the, the rally was already quite long, but the lift here yeah. from Miyazaki was still Quick. pretty good quality. Not too bad. So you had the feet there right in the back tram lines. So I think a, a really good punch clear again to set up the point again could have been a better choice than to go for that outright winner. Four-point lead. That's the biggest lead she's had in this entire match. But it's whether, as uh, Jeff said, whether she can sustain it. She can push on from there. Miyazaki is pegging her back from time to time. Thank you. Ten, six. You want to put away for Miyazaki. Seven over, seven, ten. Approaching an hour now in this match. Remember, Miyazaki has dropped a game in the last three matches in this tournament. So this is par for the course for her. Kim Gaen hadn't dropped a game until she came to the final. Play. So. Very interesting juncture we find ourselves in here. So we're going to the interval, Kim Gaelic with an 11 7 James lead ends. in game three. Fair to say that this is still hard to call? Do you think now Kim is in the uh, driving seat? 11, I think seven. it's still a little bit tricky to call. Play. And Kim didn't, didn't make as many unforced errors just before the mid-game interval as well. So I think that that's helped. <laughs> 12, 7. 
good shot there. Every time she does jump out to that around the head side like that, the shuttle is going cross though. I'm not sure if Miyazaki has picked that up. Six point lead now. She should feel a lot more comfortable, Kim Gatton. Miyazaki has to do something very soon. Stay in this. Oh. So it's over. Make Eight, it open. 13. Got the difficult one, but maybe relaxed a little bit too much for the second one, which wasn't quite as difficult. No wince from her. It's a long comeback here for Miyazaki. She needs a good run. Should really be at least keeping 14, it in. Eight. Miyazaki playing the percentages, maybe They're going a little bit too close to the line there. But full credit to Kim Go in there to be able to lift that net rolling shuttle over with some okay depth as well. Great shot, that's good. It's a challenge. It's almost a little bit of a reluctant one. Yeah, a bit of a hopeful one, I think. I'm pretty sure that was in. Yep, but well taken by Kim Go and taking that really early. This would put her in a pretty comfortable position. Oh. Yes, it's only challenge. done. It's a lot closer right. than we thought. Yeah, I thought it was, One I thought it was better in than that. Seven point lead. Eight. This is running away from Miyazaki. Play. strength and power to really move Miyazaki around the court. Maybe a little bit of fatigue setting in for Miyazaki yeah. here. He's had some really long three set matches in the lead up to this compared to Kim who hasn't dropped a game at all. That's a glorious shot from Kim Gard who's on a roll here. It's only taken her two and a half eight. games to get to this point. A great variation there. She's been often punch clearing that one into the backhand corner of Miyazaki. So a good change for a cross court drop. Outright winner. Yeah, it's procession now, isn't it? A point. For Kim Garten, and now it is hers to lose. So it's over. Nine, eighteen. Remember, she is the number two in the junior rankings. Tomoka Miyazaki had a very good year 50 wins out of 56 doesn't matter what level you're playing at that's still very very impressive and 
her career. This year, she's won 32 out of 37 Chen matches. Miyazaki. So Player. she's made a pretty good step up to the seniors, hasn't she? Definitely. I think she's marked her place here and said, I'm here, it doesn't matter about my age. But I'm a force to be reckoned with in the ladies' singles discipline. As for Kim Gaon, she's only won 26 out of 50 this year, coming into this tournament. Beyond the reach of Miyazaki, Kim Gaon is just a couple points away. Change. That shot came off the frame of Miyazaki's racket, I think, so it was tumbling a little bit, a little bit. I think it might have been even almost a net touch there, net cord. It's a long way back for Miyazaki here, though. Now, nicely taken follow up. Kept that pressure on your body. Punch clear there, oh. Oh, but just long. Service so over, 12, 20. Kid, play. given an almighty scare by the youngster Tomoka Miyazaki remember that name because she took the first game and was 16 13 up in the second Kip Gaon had to dig deep in a match that probably many didn't think she would need to but she has come good in the end a great victory from Kim Gaon there she really had to dig deep Four years since her last HSBC BWF World Tour title. That was at the Luxury China Masters of Super 100 in 2019. She finished runners up at the US Open that year and runners up this year at the Australian Open. Kim Gaon, the top seed from Korea, beats Tomoko Miyazaki of Japan 19 21, 21 17, 21 12. Remember, she had to come through the qualifiers to get here, and that's taken almost 69 minutes. I have the medal ceremony coming up.
Ladies and gentlemen, now we will have our ceremony for women's single of 2023 Korea Masters Badminton Championship, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour Super 300. Welcome medalists and prize creditors. Tomoka Miyazaki, Japan. by Mr. Yang Kyung Sao, Chairman of the 2023 Gangju Korea Masters Badminton Championships Organizing Committee. So there are your finalists for the women's singles uh, final. And your winner on the right there, Kim ga of Korea. Two out of two so far for the host nation. And her first title in four years. Now we see a bit more of a smile on her face. So that's two down, third coming up. And that is the uh, women's doubles, Rui Hirokami Yudokato of Japan, the fifth seed, second, second seed from Korea, Jong Naan and Kim Hai Jiu.
Two finals done, we're on to the third here at the uh, 2023 Guangzhou Korea Masters and it's time for women's doubles. Rui Hirokami and Yuna Kato of Japan, the fifth seeds. They will take on the second seeds from Korea, Jong na -en and Kim hai -jio. Looking at that uh, bracket there on the road to the final, there was a chance of an all-Japanese affair. Obada and Suizu uh, really pushing John and Kim. We'll talk about that in a short while. 